Donovan Kaplan came up a half a yard short in his quest for a perfect season and a short conference championship last year. Coach Dan Curcione has hit the reset button, and it's obvious that the Griffins have moved on from the heartbreak. Every year is different to me. You know, um, last year's team set the bar high, um, and they have done that, that group of guys, that group of seniors, uh, by the way they've worked for four years and, and what they've uh, uh, put into and, and, and accomplished in our program and the way they've built it up. Um, we'll see what this year's version is going to do. You know, we don't we don't uh, rely on last year for anything. You know, every year's a different year. Jalen Butler made a huge impact in the Donovan Catholic secondary. He's now set to take the reins of the Griffins offense and quarterback. Butler is a quick study on offensive coordinator Chip LaBarca's RPO attack. We have Coach LaBarca and Coach Nascimento. They're always helping me make sure I make the right reads, whether it's on the safety or the outside linebackers. And they're always making sure I pick apart the defense, whether I'm doing a read option or I'm just doing something simple like a slant. Kyrie Drake comes from the shutdown modern day program to give a huge boost to the receiving core. Drake has elite speed and looks to fill the void of the departed Jayon Farrar, who was an all-state wideout. Another all-state talent was Jadir Laughlin, who topped 1,300 yards and 17 touchdowns on the ground. The Griffins turned to Nunez Bukila, whose offensive line is confident that he'll step up. We knew he's amazing, bro. He, he would have started almost every team if Ja, ja was in here. I mean, he's awesome. He, he's going to be good. You watch. Karan McNair is the Griffins' highest profile recruit. Last year, he watched his older brother, Cam, sign with Holy Cross. The senior offensive lineman is quickly piling up an impressive list of offers. Syracuse, Buffalo, and Duke. Um, it's been going very good, you know. I uh, got nine offers so far, and I hope to get more during the season. Six foot two, 340 pound Nico Ippolito brings a huge presence on both sides of the line. Ippolito and linebacker Connor Farrell will lead the way on defense. Levi Wilkins is a four-year starter. He'll be part of a twin tight end set with Farrell that makes the Donovan offense so dangerous. We're a winning organization here, so to take it to the next step, I think it was pretty easy. A lot of people want to play here. We're great coaches, it's a family over here, and we always win. The Griffins are in the midst of the best three-year stretch in school history. It's earned them a chance to compete in the short conference's American division, the best of the best on the Jersey Shore. We have a top-notch schedule. If you look at our schedule, every team is a really well-coached, uh, tough physical group. Um, and, you know, and uh, there's no no gimmies, no breaks, and uh, you know we're we're looking forward to it. That's that's why we play. We want to match ourselves up with the best out there. In Tom's River, I'm Rich Grandpanis for JerseySportsZone.com.